Sandra did end up saying that she got, you know, annoyed and was like, why can't you do anything? My kids are missing. And they ended up escorting her out of the police station or wherever it was that they were doing the interview. Um, I didn't understand that at all. Nowadays, that would never happen. Um, I don't know how things were back then. I did not know that could happen. But it did. So they weren't able to do anything. That's so annoying. Um, okay. So Franklin ended up taking her two youngest, Allison and Amy, her two youngest daughters, to a local church and left them. Um, Sandra didn't find them, or she did find them. Sandra did find her kids, but she wasn't able to find her other kids or other two. So, because Sandra was married to him, they couldn't do anything, um, and they just couldn't charge him. So, going into the real story, uh, Susan, I just want to put this out there, her four-year-old baby girl, that was her oldest, was Susan. So, Franklin raised Susan as his daughter. They didn't say what happened to the other kid. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I know that Franklin raised Susan, the four-year-old, as his daughter. He did change her name to Sharon Marshall. Sharon, or I'm going to call her Susan. Susan was an amazingly bright individual. She was very sweet, very kind. All of her friends knew her as this just ball of energy, super funny, um, and extremely smart. Susan graduated from high school in Forest Park, Georgia, and actually had a, got a full ride scholarship to a college in Georgia, but she ended up not taking it, and I will explain why. Um, so, she didn't end up going to college because her father, father, Franklin, wanted her to move to Tampa, Florida with him, and she agreed. She was, you know, we'll go into it. So, um, all throughout school, Susan was not allowed to go out. Uh, if she was, it was very rare occasion. Uh, she never had her friends come over to her house, but instead she would call them and she did make a note, or it, it said this, um, that she would tell her friends, don't call my house phone, I will call you. So one of her friends in the interview in the documentary did say that one time or whenever she would be on the phone with Susan and her father would get home, Susan would start, you know, feeling anxious and you know, she had to get off the phone. So, she would get 
make money for them, but it was for him. Susan made a lot of friends where she worked, um, and her friends did tell her on many occasions that Franklin was bad news and to stay away from him and to leave him and that he is just not a good guy. Susan told them that if she ever tried to leave him, he told her that he would
if you guys 